Hello everyone and welcome to a new video of the JavaFX8 tutorial and today's video will be about the menu bar. We are gonna start uh, learning and reviewing some of the UI controls that are available in JavaFX8. So today's video will be about the menu bar. So this is the part one, so let's start. Okay, here's the slide. And well, we have here the uh, an image of a, a menu. We already know what a menu bar is. And this is the way how we uh, build a menu bar in JavaFX. First of all, we need a menu bar object. Okay, and inside of it, we need one or more than one menus. Okay, as you can see here, we have three menus here inside the menu bar. And then we need to add menu items, items to the menu, to each of the menus. Okay, so this is the basic structure of a menu bar in JavaFX 8. And as you can see here, we have a pretty straightforward names for those those classes. And for the menu bar, the class is menu bar. For the menu uh, menus, the class is menu. Okay, you can use the constructor of this menu class to uh, define the name of the menu. In this case, file. In this example, file. And the menu item class is to define each of the menu items inside the menus. And as well as the as in the menu, you can use the constructor of the menu item class to define the name of this sub item, which is in this case based. And also, it is easy to add these uh, components. To the to each to each other, uh, for example, for the menu bar, you use the get menus uh, method and then the add all to you to add several uh, menus. And to add the items to each menu, you use the get items and then uh, the same method add all to add several uh, items to the to each menu. So let's go to NetBeans in order to, to explain better these concepts. Okay. So here we are in NetBeans and we are defining a root node which is a border pane and we are placing a menu bar which is this one here we are placing it at the top section of the border pane okay so here we are defining our menus we are going to define three menus okay one of them will be file the other one edit and the third one will be help okay so in this example the file menu uh, we are adding the name file using the constructor and then we are defining three three items inside this menu which the first one is uh, this one here which is new the second one save and the other one is close okay, for the edit menu we are adding three sub items they are here cut, copy and paste and for the um, help menu we are adding one sub item which is about us okay so I'm gonna show you the final result which is this one here we have this menu bar and inside of it we have at the top section of our border pane we have three menus and if you click on one of these menus you can see the three items that we defined and the other three here and the other one here if we click in those items, uh, nothing happens because we are not learning yet uh, how to uh, call some uh, functions or procedures okay, with this, these items. So here you can see how to add items to the, to the menus. Use the menu, the object, and then get items, then add all, and then add several. Uh, you can add several items. Also, we have the add function, uh, as you can see here. If we would like to add only one one of the items here, okay. Okay, we are adding here the sub items to the menus, and here in this line, we are adding the uh, the three menus to the menu bar. We use the menu uh, menu bar object. And then we use get menus and then add all and we add the three of these menus. Okay, so in this line we're adding the menu bar to the top section of the of the border pane. Okay, this is uh, how is 
how we create uh, menu bars it is easy okay so I want to show you that you can create sub menus if you want for example here we're gonna add a sub menu to the edit uh, edit uh, menu okay so we only need to create another menu here uh, okay, we call it this Okay, we're gonna call it search. It's a sub menu inside the edit menu. Okay, then we are going to define three sub items. Uh, two sub items, sorry. The other one, okay. We have two sub items inside this sub menu, and then we need to add this, uh, uh, these items, these two sub items. This sub menu here, and we are doing it this way. Okay, okay, finally, it is time to add. This sub menu, okay. We're gonna add it to the edit menu, so we're gonna add it here. Okay, so it is important to mention that you can use, uh, you can add menus to the other menu, okay. Not only items, you can add also menus. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. So now we can execute again to see the result. Okay, so here is the application, and inside the edit menu, we have another sub menu as you can see. Okay. Well, so that's how you create menus uh, with menus and items and submenus as well. So don't miss the next video. We're going to review more advanced uh, characteristics and features of these menu bars. Thank you. Thanks everyone for watching this video. And please don't miss the second part of the menu bar uh, videos. So we're going to review more interesting, more advanced features of this control. Thank you.